This roll recipe is one of our family favorites. I've actually been using it possibly the longest over all my bread recipes. It's very versatile. You can make hamburger buns, hot dog buns, rolls, any number of things you can make with this recipe. Here's what you'll need to get started. You'll need one cup of warm water, one egg, a fourth of a cup of sugar, one tablespoon of yeast, three-fourths teaspoon of salt, and a fourth of a cup of butter. And we're going to go ahead and mix that up. And you notice the butter is not melted. It's room temperature. And so it'll mix in fairly easily. And it'll mix in the rest of the way when we add our flour. All right, we're gonna add our flour one cup at a time. We're gonna add about three cups of flour. This is a really soft dough. And I usually add anywhere from three to three and a half cups. It just depends on the day. But I wanna make sure I keep my dough soft and a little on the sticky side. This is one of the easier doughs to make to me because it is a soft dough and it doesn't take a lot of kneading. All right, this is my third cup of flour and I'm probably gonna add about half of it in. Go ahead and add the rest of that cup. So that's three cups total. All right, if you see my dough is still rather sticky. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna measure out another half a cup but I'm only gonna use a little bit at a time. I wanna get just past the stage of it being sticky. I wanna be able to pick it up, not necessarily really knead it good, but I want to be able to handle my dough. I'm gonna knead it just a little bit with my hands to pull it all together. It's still rather sticky, but it can be handled and it's very soft. It's not near as dry as your loaf breads, but I can pick it up. Now, if I did a lot of kneading, it would really stick to my hands bad, but this is how I want my dough, just like this. I'm gonna set it to the side, and I'm gonna add some oil to my bowl. And I'm gonna rub that around real good. It's okay that I have all this on my bowl, Putting the oil on the bowl actually helps to loosen all that stuff when you go to all that dough when you go to wash your bowl. All right, now I'm gonna place my dough back in the bowl. And then I, I'm gonna turn it over where both sides are oiled. And then I'm gonna cover my bowl with saran wrap. And this will rise for about an hour until it's doubled in size. One hour later. The dough has risen so nicely. And one thing to work with this dough that is more of a moist dough, I use oil on my hands to keep it from sticking to me. I'm just gonna move it around and let it release all the air. So I'm going to take half of my dough and I'm going to make some hamburger buns. And so I'm gonna split that in half. It'll make about eight hamburger buns, the whole batch, or 18 rolls, or about 12 hot dog buns. But what I normally do is I make a bunch of each. Usually I do hamburger and hot dog buns or I do uh, some rolls, but today I'm gonna make a little bit of each. And what I do is I take my dough, and I wanna make me a dough ball. I want it nice and smooth on top, and I'll just move it around in my hands like this, and I'm gonna place it on my cookie sheet. And that's gonna be a nice big hamburger bun, maybe a little too big. <laughs> I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna kinda of roll it under to try and get a smooth top. I'm gonna kind of pat it down, so I want it kind of flat. I'm actually thinking I'm gonna have me some giant hamburger buns, so you just have to play with it and do it to your liking. That first one's gonna be pretty big anyway. But you know what's so funny about that? 
It's my hamburger patties usually match. <laughs> so I have some big hamburger patties and some little hamburger patties. So it usually all works out. Next, I'm gonna do some hot dog buns or uh, I don't know what we, I don't know what to call them. Just uh, little, oh, I almost had it y'all. Buns, just some, just some buns. We'll have like a ham bun on this. So we have hot dogs sometimes too, but we'll also have like a ham bun on there. Also, if you like cinnamon rolls, this dough would be a great dough to make cinnamon rolls with. There we go. They're not the prettiest hot dog buns in the world, but they are delicious. All right, now with what's left of my dough, I'm going to make rolls. And I'm gonna make six rolls. So I'm just gonna pinch it off like that. And I'm just gonna roll them round and around and put them on my sheet over here where I have a little bit of room. But I like using this recipe with it uh, just being me and Tommy. I can make all kind of different bread and I'll actually put it in the freezer sometimes where I can have it ready to go. Then we're gonna let these rise for about an hour till they're doubled in size. One hour later. Now that my bread is risen, I'm going to bake it for about 10 minutes in a 350 degree preheated oven. All right, now I like to take a little butter and butter the tops of my buns. You don't have to do that, but I do like the butter on the top. I like to go ahead and remove my bread from the pan as soon as it comes out of the oven because it'll sweat on the bottom. So, let's see if I can do my little trick. Nope, it's tearing. <laughs> I like to try and slide it off like this, and then I'll slide the paper out from under it. Let your bread cool completely before you wrap it, otherwise it'll sweat in the bag. 